Hey, this is Kenneth. Uh, I figured I would just show every, all you guys uh, my final project for my UC Davis EEC 180A digital systems class. Uh, really, this is more than anything else, this is just impressive from a sheer scale size. Uh, what it is, it's a game where you get to roll a dice and then you get to choose whether you want to add it or not to your score. Uh, if you roll a 6, you have to add it to your score, and then if you reach 15 without going over, you win. Uh, as far as from the electronic side, it's all TTL. We've got the uh, oscillator up here, so it's a 55. Uh, this section and this section is all a 3-bit uh, state machine as for the dice roll, uh, which I'll show you later. And then it goes over here, uh, last flip-flop here, and all of this logic is the state machine for the actual game. Then this part up here is an accumulator, which then displays the score over here. So I'll show you how it's normally played is you uh, switch up the roll switch and uh, I rolled a 6 this time is the clock speed is fast enough that when you roll it you can't see what number it's currently displaying so since it's a 6 it got automatically added rolling again gives us a 2 so now I have the choice of either adding the 2 to my score or passing by pressing the pass button I'll choose to add it so I'll switch add up and down so 6 plus 2 gives me a score of 8 Rolling again, three, I'll add it. Roll again, two, I'll pass. So I press the pass button and the, uh, now I can't add it anymore. Roll one more time, four, which is actually exactly what I'll need. So I'll add that and I got 15 and I win. Uh, if I roll again, obviously I get a two. I'll add it and I lose. And so win LEDs there, lose LEDs there. Uh, slowing down the clock so you guys can see it roll. Uh, rolling, you can see it. Uh, I had to, each person was assigned a separate custom order, and so I had to implement this 1, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6 sequence in my state machine, where it would have been a lot easier to just use a counter, but school's not so much about being easy and more about actually learning how to do this stuff. Uh, so that was it. So um, I won't post a schematic or anything just because it's so horridly terrible. And I promise there actually was some order down here uh, before it kind of all went to hell on about the third week because this was about a three week project and it, it didn't scale very well. It was, it was a little cramped, but I thought it was impressive, so that's it. Uh, enjoy.